And we still got roughly 125 pounds of nitrogen in it, but now we got to let it out because it's time to use the vacuum pump on it. Okay, we're letting all the nitrogen out right now. You can see the uh, Kind of watch the gauges go down in pressure. Go down all the way to zero. Now that all the nitrogen is out of the system, you can open up both the low and the high side. Okay, because we're now, we're, and also make sure that all the, the hoses and everything are nice and tight, okay, so that they're not going to leak uh, off of the, off the gauges. And then make sure that the hose on the vacuum pump is tight and it's plugged in. Um, and here we go, we'll turn it on. Now it's going to put the system into a vacuum. As you can see, it's already started to go down into the some inches of mercury here on the uh, compound gauge and should go all the way almost to 30 inches of mercury. The vacuum pump's been running for a while now and here's our micron gauge and we got it down to 370 microns right now that's really good and all you really need to do is bring it down to 500 microns anyway so now we can go ahead and close these valves here on the manifold gauge that this point Jim when you get down to 300 microns you know you ain't got a leak so there's no way possible to get down to 300 microns right now um, turn that off now Dr. G is they was picking his cats off the ground that Jim had dropped. <laughs> One thing you want to do is yeah. keep this thing clean of right. all germs. Of all germs? Yeah. Yeah, the vacuum gauge is a mighty handy thing they're to not, have. They're not cheap. <clears throat> and he's, I don't know what he's done there, but... Well... Every once in a while you can run a little cleaner through these things and clean them up. The next step is going to be you don't want me to talk charging about the my system. gauge no more. He don't want to talk about my gauge no more. He's, <laughs> he's got bigger and better things yeah. to deal with. Alright, now we're going to weigh in the charge on this system. Because it's a package unit we're not going to charge by superheat or subcooling or anything like that. We're going to charge by weight. <clears throat> All right, now yeah, we turn the scale on. And let's see here. Okay. Zero it out. Mm hmm. Zero it out. Now we got to bleed that, uh, that yellow hose. Make sure we don't have. Any uh, air in it or anything? It should have a vacuum on. Or it should be a vacuum, but you never know. So just make sure waste, it's full yeah. of refrigerant. There, there you go. Blay it out. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and open the high side gauge. I'm go ahead and zero. Then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll zero out the scale. Okay. And we'll. Now, Dr. G is 
opening the high side gauge. We want to go to four pounds, yep. five ounces. Four pounds, five ounces. We gotta see right there. Let's see, here we go. Yep. Yeah, that sun is right in the okay. in the problem here. There we go. Three pounds. Three dingy wingy. What was that? What was that? Uh, what was that name of that show? One ringy dingy. Oh. Two ringy dingy. Any more? Oh, Three ringy dingies. I remember. It sounds familiar though. Four, Joe. I think it was Friday Night Live or something. Oh, okay. Uh, something like that. Here we got. Here we go. We're coming up on four pounds now. Four pounds and one ounce, two ounce, three ounce, almost four four ounces, five ounce. You want to call it there? That's it. Okay, and the charge is complete. And we're ready to go. Now we'll see how she runs. We still have the suction line hose on there because we want to be able to clear all the liquid refrigerant out of the hoses while it's running. <clears throat> There we go. We started up pretty good. And there it is, folks. It's running. It looks good. It's running good. Everything is fine. Uh, and uh, that's that.